welcome to Notice Tonight, the show that decodes the region. I am Wasbir Hussain. The results of the Panchayat polls in Assam has demonstrated that halfway into its term, the BJP in the state continues to hold on to its grassroots support base. The BJP has swept the rural polls at all levels, but the main opposition Congress has put up a spirited fight coming second. The Assam Gana Parishad that had snapped ties with the BJP on the Panchayat polls by deciding to contest a rural election on its own has lost a game and has come a distant third. The state's fourth major political party, the AIUDF, is in the fourth spot. Now the question is whether the BJP has swept the Panchayat polls because it is the ruling party and the masses crave for development. Are the AGP votes getting transferred to the BJP? Are the poll results an indication of the fact that the people actually are not so much against the Citizenship Amendment Bill as the AGP and some other organizations are making it to be? Can the BJP now go ahead and amend the Citizenship Act? What will the AGP do? Will it stay on in the alliance? Will the BJP with the BJP or will it severe ties and continue with the bigger battle for 2019 on its own? That is the key question, whether the AGP will stay on with the BJP or whether it will go for 2019 elections on its own. That is the big question. And of course, what is the Congress strategy going to be? All right, before we begin the discussion, let me tell you, viewers, I had a discussion earlier with Assam BJP President Ranjit Das on just this particular subject. Let us listen in to the conversation. I am now joined by Assam BJP President, Mr. Ranjit Das. Hi. Mr. Ranjit Das, uh, thank sure. you for speaking to me in Northeast Live. Mr. Ranjit Das, last night you met your party's national president, Mr. Amit Shah. You were supposed to have presented a three-page report on the Panchayat election verdict and about the shaky ties that you have with your alliance partner, AGP. Can you give me some details on this meeting? Uh, we submitted a letter to our national president, Mr. Amit Shahji. Right. And uh, in that letter, uh, we uh, actually, this is our party level uh, information. Generally, during the Panchayat election, uh, what have done by the Assam Gana Parishad during the campaign period, uh, we informed details about that uh, report and uh, when, how, and why some MLA right. of Assam Gana Parishad and some party leader of the Assam Gana Parishad, uh, they use some slang language also against our leader. Even our leader, Dr. Himanto Biswa Sarma, who is the convener of the NEDA, and regarding right. this, and uh, some MLA uh, also openly, uh, they said that uh, both we are Congress and AGP, we are the brothers and uh, BJP is our enemy. Such type of uh, uh, comments uh, which was delivered right. by the uh, AGP leader and AGP MLA, uh, even uh, though they are our alliance partner, uh, but being alliance partner, uh, they have some duty uh, to regarding the alliance partner, regarding the BJP leaders. Right. And, uh, the, all the comments, audio, video comments and paper clippings already we submitted. Uh, before the our honorable uh, national president Amit Shah, yeah. Mm. Okay, Mr. Mr. Ranjit Das, what did you exactly <sighs> tell Mr. Amit Shah? What did you exactly say in that three-page report of yours that you have submitted? Yeah, yeah already uh, we informed that all the Assamese people, uh, all the Assamese people of yeah. the Assam, who is the ethnic people, they also supported us and uh, we also uh, given some data in which constituency uh, we uh, we got the highest marks and which constituency AGP got the less marks and Congress and UDF. Uh, regarding this also, we also inform our national president. And uh, after hearing my uh, complaint regarding uh, that campaign period, uh, which was used by the AGP leaders and others, uh, uh, AGP MLA, and after hearing my complaint, uh, our national president and our uh, general secretary, Mr. Ramadov, 
Uh, he also spoke, uh, we also discussed a uh, letter at Guwahati uh, within a short time. Uh, so just to, we, we have never indicated that uh, this is the uh, threatening or our threatening to break the alliance. Uh, but uh, as a, um, I, I as a state president of the Assam BJP, it is my duty yeah. and responsibility to, to submit uh, that complaint uh, because this is the uh, vigorous uh, uh, complaint uh, against our ministers also and chief ministers also. Yeah. And, and, and what was Mr. Amit Shah's response? How did he react? What was his response? Yeah, our national president and particularly general secretary, they were very worried uh, about uh, my complaint. And uh, they said that uh, we discuss uh, within a short time regarding this purpose. Okay, so, so uh, BJP National General Secretary, Mr. Ram Madhav will shortly come to Guwahati to discuss about the alliance, discuss about the alliance between the BJP and the AGP, is that right? And, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if, uh, Mr. Ram Madhav will uh, come to Guwahati for discuss regarding this purpose and our leaders, our leaders, all of his state bears and our all MLA and ministers, he also meet with the others MLA ministers and office bears also within a short time. So far my knowledge goes. Hmm. So, so a final decision on the BJP AGP alliance will be taken only after this meeting that Ram Madhav is going to take with the Assam state leaders of the party. Final uh, regarding the regarding the alliance, all final decision will be taken by our national president or national committee. And Mr. Mr. Amit Shah will take the final decision. Uh, it may be, yeah. Okay, okay, Mr. Ranjit Das. You know, uh, BJP has forced ahead in the panchayat elections as the results have indicated at all levels. Now, according to you, what is the broad message uh, that this verdict sends out to the people of Assam or what is the broad message according to you? Uh, all the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, we, we thanks all the, all the public of the Assam, uh, particularly the voters, the rural voters, and we also thanks all the workers and particularly page in charge, boot workers and mondol workers and district workers and all the MLA and all the MPs and all the ministers. Uh, we thanks uh, on behalf of the party and uh, particularly we thanks our chief minister, Sarvananda Sunwalji and our convener, NEDA convener, Dr. Himanto Biswa Sarma, uh, because uh, uh, from the side of the government, uh, various scheme, uh, they launch and uh, they not only launch, the, all the schemes implemented, particularly autolombit, obijan, particularly free textbook, and all the schemes across the political line, across the religion, across the community. Uh, all public benefited from our uh, scheme. Uh, so public uh, come, uh, come to support the BJP, uh, in particularly uh, also some minority people, uh, as like a Haila Kandi, as like Borsala constituency, uh, minority people, and some people of the minority people of the uh, Gwalpara and Dhubri also, and Mankasar also. They also come forward to cast the vote in favor of the BJP due to the government achievement of the scheme and our hard work, work of the workers. Okay. Now, you, we have seen the panchayat results. Your alliance yeah. with the AGP is extremely shaky. Yeah. Now, my question to you, Mr. Ranjit Das, what is the road ahead for the BJP? Uh, are you going yeah. to contest future elections in Assam on your own? Is it a decision that you have already taken? Uh, yeah, uh, in near future, uh, we have several elections, particularly our uh, Dima Hasao Council election, Missing Council election, and our Guwahati Corporation election, and after that, our Lok Sabha election, and after that, BTD election. And we uh, appeal all the people of the Assam and all the workers of the BJP come forward for the next election because this is the starting, this is the not ending. Uh, because Bharatiya Janata Party is not only a party, this is a mission. 
uh, so our Karakata and people of the Assam, they have uh, faith on the BJP and BJP-led government. Uh, so in next future, uh, they also casted in favor of the uh, vote in BJP. Uh, I today, uh, I again, uh, again said that uh, as like uh, when uh, our panchayat election, I, we, we claim that, that we will the first position in the panchayat election. As like today, I assured you, uh, in the Dimahasa election, there have 28, uh, 28 seats in the Dimahasa council election, and out of that 28, we will own maximum, minim, maximum, minimum 25 seats. That means out of 28, we will own 25 seats from Dimahasa, and we will we'll fight alone. Uh, no any alliance at that election of the Dimahasa missing council and other elections. Uh, local election, but in case of the Lok Sabha election, this is the decision of the National Party. Uh, they, 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 they can continue the alliance or they can break the alliance. This is depend upon the on National Committee. Right, right. So, BJP in Assam is going to contest the forthcoming Dima Hassau Autonomous Council election on its own and there is not going to be any alliance whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, uh, Ellen, yeah, yeah, this is our decision, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, Mr. Thank Ranjit Das, thank, thank you very much thank for you. speaking to Northeast Live. Right, uh, that was the BJP state president. Uh, we are going to take responses, obviously. Now, to discuss the issue, I have with me ASU advisor, Dr. Samujal Bhattacharji, AGP vice president, Mr. Dilip Bora, BJP spokesman Shopnanil Barua, who is making his debut as the spokesman of the party today in this channel, Congress leader and former MP Dwizen Sharma, AIUDF MLA Aminul Islam, Professor Nani Gopal Mohanta from Guwahati University, and writer and commentator Ms. Maini Mohanta. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the program. First, uh, I would like to take a response from Mr. Dilip Bora, but before that, one question to Dr. Samujal Bhattacharji. Uh, Dr. Samujal Bhattacharji, you have seen the Panchayat election verdict, but many would like to say that the BJP sweep of the Panchayat election in Assam means that the people are not so much opposed to the citizenship amendment bill as you, or for that matter, the AGP would like to believe. What is your personal response to this perception? See, it's not a correct perception. Uh, uh, the, the yes, the people has uh, given their uh, mandate uh, in the panchayat election, and panchayat uh, in the panchayat election, the, the the issue of citizenship amendment bill was never an issue. Uh, this election is based on local issues. Actually, generally, this panchayat election is based on local issues. And this time also, this panchayat election throughout the sum is based on local issues and uh, some developmental issues. Uh, the citizenship amendment bill issue was never a never an issue of this uh, panchayat election. So the people of Assam, throughout Assam, the people of Assam is opposing the citizenship amendment bill and related notification and orders because it protects the interest of the illegal Bangladeshis. Right. And this this uh, the, the 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 mandate <coughs> is very clear uh, about the opposition of this bill. But uh, this <coughs> this issue was never an issue uh, of the panchayat election. Right. Right. Absolutely. Uh, now, I'd like to take the view, uh, Mr. Dilibora, you've heard the BJP state president saying that, you know, B the matter was uh, taken up at the highest level of the BJP. He had met the uh, national president, Mr. Amit Shah, submitted a three-page report in which, in his own words, he said that, you know, the BJP was not interested in snapping ties with the AGP, but the AGP has started attacking the uh, BJP, including its own ministers, and that the BJP is sending a, a very senior general secretary to Assam to discuss the issue. That means... That means the BJP now indicating that it is not as much interested in the AGP as it was, was perhaps initially in 2016. And uh, things is not settled yet. Anything can happen in the days ahead. Mr. Dilibora. First and foremost, I must uh, clarify to you especially because it is more from your side that I am hearing all these things except... Uh, but you, so have, heard the, you is, have heard the BJP yeah, state Ranjit president. Das is talking, I did not say anything. Just listen. Ranjit Das is talking for the last one year or more than that. He does not want the alliance. It is not our concern also at this moment whether there is alliance or no alliance. The point is that at this moment we have not fared well in the panchayat election. This has shown us 
that we have to rethink our strategy. We have to go to the people and then we have to also bring changes to our maybe the vision, longer term vision, how to attract okay. people. Just okay. one moment, let me finish. Yeah, yes, no, this is the opening remarks. You have given remarks. time to Ranjit Das and give me some time yes. also. Yes, no, you'll be ah. responding. You'll no, be no, responding. I am responding. Yeah, that but very why. quick opening no, then, remarks. No, very quick it cannot be. Na. It, it tell has me, to tell be me, yes, yes, go ahead, go no, ahead. The point is that the alliance is not the uh, foremost concern at this moment. Our concern is our party's future. For that purpose, I must say that I have seen in this uh, uh, elections that uh, AGP's core vote is now being divided into three clear groups. And they are mostly with the BJP, AGP, and Congress. Now, once that core uh, vote group has been divided, then AGP has to find ways, because this will remain like this for in the coming right. years also, mm -hmm. how to go to the other groups. Mainly, I am talking about okay. the minorities. And no, also, we will expand on these ah, issues. So you are basically is yes. alliance is no concern. Alliance is no concern. You are at more moment. worried at about moment. your more worried yeah, about more your about, worried, worried about, about, about our future. future ahead. Absolutely. Now I'll come to you, uh, Dizen Sharma. But before that, a very quick response from Mr. Sopnanil Barua. Mr. Sopnanil Barua, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Dilip Barua is saying that they are more worried about the AGP's future. So do you think it is time for the AGP to concentrate on its own future and leave the BJP on its own and basically indicating that they should severe ties? Uh, what do you have to say? Well, uh, from our side, you have clearly heard the president saying that uh, he's given a status report of the ground situation that is prevailing in Assam at the moment. Right. But if you talk about the alliance or the friendship or the association with the AGP, I think the ball is on AGP's court. It is for them to decide. We really don't want to push them out or keep them in or something of that sort. But, 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 sorry to interrupt you, but you also cannot escape responsibility. You know, you cannot allow, uh, tr they have got three ministers. Uh, development is your primary concern, but you, one has to get rid of this. Uh, it's not a question of liking or not liking your alliance partner. It, today it is AGP, it could be something else in the future. But my question is, Mr. Sopnil Barua, can you allow tr uh, a political party which has not yet made up its mind whether to be on the ally or not? I suppose that is why sensing the urgency of the development needs, the Honorable President of the party has gone over to Delhi to really seal the issue, if I may say so, that uh, this kind of stalemate cannot go on forever. Or forever. And some way or the other, we have to really decide, or at least the <coughs> high command gives us a clearance as to what to do. Absolutely. In the now, Dujan Sarma, yes. a, a very dis you, are, you got the second position, all right, Congress, but it's a very distant second. Are you a happy man today? Now, you see, it is not a distant second. Uh, we have got more than 50% uh, seats in almost all J J uh, JPC, Anchalik, Gaupan Sayat, and members also. Uh, general tendency in Panchayat election, what I have seen for a long time, yeah. the tendency of people is to vote for the ruling party. That is the tendency because they want to have development for their village, for their areas, for their roads, and their other development activities, okay. they want to project that. That is the basic thing of panchayat. And basically, the panchayat election should be out of politics. And that was the concept earlier. But now, we have seen we are contesting in political affiliation. And I have seen, you, if you look to the 2013 result, the Congress got 272, 73 seats in Jila position in 2013 yeah. election. Okay. And uh, that was uh, more than 56 percent. So, what is the what is the what is the short point that you are trying to make? No, I am going to make that we have a very good result. We have being so you are you are more or less satisfied uh, with the result. No, you no, think be, that being in opposition, we are in very good position. Okay, we being are, in we, opposition, we have shown. Yeah, our he is happy. Uh, Regent Sharma of the Congress is happy that being in opposition, he has been able to hold on yes. to that second uh, second spot. Uh, now, uh, now, Mr. Aminul Islam, uh, you know. It seems that your support base is dwindling. Uh, are you are you happy? Are you satisfied with the performance of the your party that is the AIUDF? Because uh, you had very you had you have solid strongholds in certain pockets in Assam, but this time that is not really reflected. And see, first of all, our support base or pocket has been changed in this election. May changed? Election. Did you yeah. say changed? Because uh, no, is it? Are you last, saying that's in changed? In last panchayat election, yeah. In last panchayat election, we have made Jila uh, Parishad in two districts, Borpeta and Korimgons. And right now, we are going to 
uh, form Jila Purishots in Hailakandi and uh, South Sharmara Mankasa district. And in previous election also, two Jila Purishots came to uh, in our custody and right now, uh, after this Panchayat election, we are going to form two Jila Purishots with our own. And another two, three districts there are uh, where without uh, taking support from AODF, no other party can form the Jila Purishots. So, we don't think that we have collapsed or we have lost so many things or But did you, did, was it up to your expectations? Did you expect a little better, better performance than this or what do you think? No, we always uh, expect more No, and no, more. but be we, honest. Yeah, yeah, we always expect more and more and uh, we thought that we will get more, few more seats. But right. It, it was not done, but we hope that in next uh, next election or Absolutely. the coming days we now, can now, now, this. Now, uh, I'll come back to all of you gentlemen. Dr. Nanigupal Mohanto, what is the broad message? Uh, uh, I was asking this question uh, to Dr. Samudzal Bhattasarji that, you know, uh, BJP halfway into its term, usually for any ruling party, whether it is the BJP, a little bit of anti-incumbency definitely creeps in. But we have seen with the Panchayat results, uh, do, is it as simple as this? Is it something more complex? I want to know from you that BJP has been able to emerge as the party of choice for the majority of the uh, grassroots level people in the state. Now, what does this mean? Uh, has the BJP risen to cheer or do you think uh, they have to be more cautious in the days ahead? Uh, certainly, was be, uh, BJP needs to be cautious. There is no doubt about that. You know, we just cannot see this election in isolation. It has to be seen in national perspective. Nationally, yeah. BJP has been facing challenges, particularly in three Hindu-speaking states. So this is an area of concern. But nevertheless, you are talking about anti-incumbency. But anti-incumbency this time has taken place at two levels. Number one, at the state level, that is against BJP. At, at the second level, it is against Congress. Because as um, Mr. Sarma has talked about, at the, at the, at the grassroots level, 70 to 75 percent of the seats were, you know, it, it was in the position of Congress party. So there was issues of corruption, there was issues of performance. So there was a kind of anti-incumbency against the Congress also at the grassroots level. But the point is, point is that in spite of having those anti-incumbency, so Congress had done relatively a better performance. But having said so, I expected Congress to do slightly better. You know why? This time, yeah. whether we agree it or not, but if you look at any newspaper, if you look at any audiovisual media, the most important issue was the Citizenship Amendment Bill and to some extent the NRC. Now the question is, that is an unfortunate, but that should not have been the main issue. At the, you know, visibility, at the perception level, it looks like even everybody was talking about that AZP would do certainly better yeah. in this grassroots level. So the point is the issue should have been about the connectivity, issue should have been about education. But none of these roads. issues uh, are yeah, you know, dominated that the concern polls. at the grassroots level, those issues have not uh, been the yeah. main issues that it should have been. So, but having said so, what Hamud Jalda has said, I do agree that NRC or citizenship issue was an issue it, which was popularized by the elite organizations, which right. were popularized by mm -hmm. the people. But so, at what, the grassroots so, level, so what is your short point so my now? point is at the grassroots level, people yet to understand the nuances of the, you know, the complexities of Citizens Amendment Bill. But in this case, BJP... So, so BJP since, the people, since the people don't know the nuances the and complexities... No, no, yeah. let me ask a clarification from you. Yeah. You are saying that since the people at the grassroots do not know the nuances of the Citizenship Amendment Bill, True. The, the, the BJP has uh, got that, the benefit. That is one. That is one. Yeah. But at the same time, it is not instant to be isolation. At the same time, there is certain proactive policies being taken over. By, the, example, by, the, by the present government. By the BJP. For example, mm -hmm. it is both by AGP and BJP. Both are in coalition. For example, Sohit, Konoklota, Borwa, that scheme. Okay. Then Kuhol, we will, we will, you know, we will, we will, we will discuss I mean, this, some of these schemes having details. some benefits, yeah. the people, <coughs> they know because these Absolutely. are the people who are facing the daily, you know, challenges into right. their day-to-day -day life. So I believe there's certain permutation and combinations which uh, have So it has to, every, it's not oh, so simple, yes, yeah, no kind of an answer. it's not just simple. We have to take various factors into account. We'll discuss these factors one by one. Uh, my name, Honto, uh, are you surprised at the AGP's performance? Because AGP was a part of the government, if the people have voted the BJP for the schemes, as Dr. Nanigupal Mohanto is saying, for some of the proactive schemes uh, that the BJP government has taken, AGP is also a part of that government. It's also part, uh, bef before this decision not to contest the panchayat elections on its uh, 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 together, 
you know, these were part of the same government. There was absolutely no problem between the BJP and the AGP. So why then the AGP has performed so poorly in the selections? What could be the main reasons? Uh, yes, Rasmi, first uh, let me answer one of uh, Noni's uh, thing. Noni said that the, the <laughs> NRC and citizenship amendment bill, these issues are organized by elite classes. But the, one thing is clear that that citizenship amendment bill, common people they cannot understand now, but this will affect more the common people. You see, Urjit Patel's resign is not a Ponsayat issue, but reserve government economy, the destruction of our economy will be, you know, most affected people will be our common people. It's like that. And what your question is that, I think uh, observing the whole uh, Ponsayat election and listening to Mr. Ranjit Das, I can understand that a very fine blueprint was prepared by the BJP to demolish and destroy the religi uh, uh, regional, regional force in Assam. See, before assembly election, BJP, they knew that they, their uh, number one opponent will be uh, Congress. But they required some votes and they required that AGP votes. That's why they made the alliance. And before Ponsayat election, it's very true. Everybody knows that uh, those who are in power, they get the Ponsayat. They, they, they so, so, so they, they my, my, hold on, calculated strategy. Because first, first uh, the, 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 to, to fight alone, the first uh, declaration comes from, came from uh, I will, Rajit Das. I will, I will come to uh, Sopnil Bora for a response. But before that, Mr. Dujan Sharma, yes. do you think that the BJP leaders, you know, in the last one week of the elections, mm -hmm. they have went whole, they had gone whole hog saying that the, there is a secret alliance between the AGP and the Congress. So when did you struck this alliance? When was this alliance this formed? Is, this is completely a false message that BJP is trying. BJP is trying many things. They spread many communal things amongst the voters. No, don't be general. Talk about the talk about this issue. This is not at all an issue. We never had any alliance with AGP. And till now, nobody has talked about so, uh, alliance with AGP. No, no. no. Once, ag once again, Mr. Dujan Sharma, you yes, are putting yes, it I, on I record. Am, I am telling you your, what you are going to ask. I can understand. You are uh, mentioning about Turun Gogoi's statement, I think. No, he, he no. Said, can he, there be? He, he that, said, no, I'm, he I'm, said, I'm, no, no. Yeah. There, is a, there is a national policy of Congress party. That Congress party will have alliance with these secular forces which uh, with non communal forces in right. any places even in right. uh, even with regional parties right that is now, there on that basis our leader uh, Torun Gogoi said now, that we, I will I will if absolutely necessary, if necessary we can have alliance with So you that parties. stands that stands that stands. That stands. That stands, but, but right? It, you are it, saying that that stands. That if stands, necessary, but, but, Congress is no but, problem. But no, no, no. Let me be clear. No, if no, no, necessary, no, 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 no. Sharma, for the sake of my viewers, if necessary, the Congress can go for an alliance with the AGP. That is what you are saying but or not? First of all, they are you saying that or not? No, no. I am not saying that. I am saying that they must come out of uh, communal forces. Who's of course, cool. that, that they will even not even align with you while out, being a part even, of the BJP. Yes, uh, uh, being mean, a part of the BJP, BJP we, cannot, we, we, will, not, have to, we will, will not talk with AGP. Oh, okay, fine, fine, understood. But you are basically moral of the story with Dijan Sharma of the Congress is saying that no, they, are we, generally, generally, the, we BJP, I, they are ready to have the BJP. They are ready to have the and it's for no, Mr. Nilipora. No, 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 you put words into our mouth. You don't try to be. He no, 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 this is a part of, no, 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 is saying neither AZP nor Congress, Congress is saying that we are in an alliance. Yes, yeah, this please say. These are the of imagination of certain political yes, leaders. Yes, yes, That's it. Nothing is there. We never say. If we come to the alliance, we'll come in the open. Openly. Why should we come in a surreptitious manner? It is, it is only... For, uh, uh, you, are in my you, are, you are agitated. Please do not today. Give. Please do not give Let me ask Dilip Bora. Yeah. You, are, you are a bit I'll, agitated. I'll no, 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 no. Let me you answer a clear question. Was your alliance with the BJP a mistake? I'm coming to uh, Aminul Islam and Sopnil Bora. But Mr. Dilip Bora, do you th can you say today that your alliance with the BJP was a big mistake? I am not the person. I am only a spokesperson of the party. Party's decision is the final for me. Once the party decides something, I have to go with it. So, so far the alliance is intact. For my, my, so far as I am concerned, alliance is intact. But the effect of the alliance may be discussed in the, uh, our party meeting. And then the decision will be taken. A BJP has taken certain decisions in their local level and they have gone to the uh, national level for final decision from the, their national leaders. 
we have to decide here and now with our own party leaders because we do not have a high command. Doc, but, so this but is a different people, matter altogether. Altogether. Yes, Aminul Islam. But, but the people of Assam are not satisfied with the stand of AZP because the people of no, Assam... That will be taken into account. The, that will the, be taken the, into the account, of definitely. Assam, they, wanted, they expected that AZP will break the alliance and they will come out of the alliance uh, in the issue of citizenship amendment, amendment bill. bill. Yes. And as AZP is not going out of the alliance, so I think people outrageously rejected AZP in the Panchayat election mm. because people thought that AZP is doing drama and they are uh, till now existing in the uh, alliance. We are, no, are no, no actors. No, we are no, no actors. We no, do actually, not do drama. But we are in an alliance. But people and expected, because of certain reasons, people we have contested AZP will not come out. Let me ask the if, same if, question. If, 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 let me ask the same question. Please do not give, do not do not give such words. Do not utter such words that we are actors. We are not actors. We are interested in... But the political if, party if are interested in the came out of the alliance, they would have better performance in the Ponsat election as people That is your, your yes, assessment. Yes, okay, thank yes, you for yeah, that. It, it, but it, it, we will take into account assessment. all the factors when we discuss that this matter in the party forum. Okay, uh, it is now, not the forum to discuss all the Mr. 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 This is the right forum because no, after, is, at the end of the no, day, is, the people is, are watching. Is, the people that are the electors. This is the right forum. He yes. is to be concerned uh, with Mr. his party. Mr. No, Mr. No, Mr. No, Mr. No, he doesn't Mr. have to give no, us advice. Mr. 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 I was asking this question. I can also say that Congress is also Can we have Mr. Sopman Borough? Acting only while supporting... No, let us not deviate. Let us not trivialize. Let us not trivialize the debate. No, no, no. no. We have a lot to discuss. Please. Let us, not, actors, let us not trivialize the debate. You are yes. acting for the Mr. last seven years. No, no, Mr. 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 You are seven years. You are acting. Mr. 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 No, 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 come on. Mr. 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 Sopnel Borwa, yes, uh, I was asking this question to uh, Mr. Dili Bora. He got extremely agitated. My question is, was it a mistake on the part of the BJP? Was it a mistake on the part of the BJP to still continue with the alliance with the AGP? Because your party president has very categorically stated in an interview to this particular channel that the three AGP ministers are absolutely non-performing. So ultimately, the responsibility has to be taken by the chief minister because these three ministers are members of the council of ministers headed by the chief minister. So your party president is on record having said that in, uh, uh, in his characteristic, blunt, no-nonsense manner. He has made this statement that three AGP ministers are non-performing. So after this, don't you think, and after this verdict, don't you think that the, the AGP is some kind of a, you know, you have to reassess on your alliance. Do you think uh, it's time to say quits with the AGP? Uh, well, I wouldn't be able to comment on this matter at this particular moment because as you have heard our party president, he has referred the matter to the high command and the high command will be deputing their persons to assess the ground situation and really examine the pros and cons of the whole issue. But as uh, my friend Dilip Bora has said, as of date, we are still in alliance. Until it is broken, we are still in alliance. Yes, yes, you continue. Absolutely. Uh, politicians, politicians, it's not surprising to hear the two political uh, spokespersons uh, talking. Nobody should be surprised. That is how they talk. We'll go for a short break, come back and talk. go to directly to Dr. Nanikupal Mohanto for his assessment of what's going on. Welcome back. Welcome back. You are watching Northeast tonight. We are in the middle of a very, very engaging and contested debate. Uh, Dr. Nanikupal Mohanto, what is going on? Uh, because you see, uh, uh, the, the, the BJP has said that they are going to send a National General Secretary to discuss with the uh, uh, BJP state leaders. Uh, and both the political party spokesmen are saying the alliance is intact. Uh, BJP president was saying that, uh, you know, the three AGP ministers are a liability. They are non-performing. Non uh, what's going on? At the end of the day, who benefits and who loses? Well, you see, this Panchayat election more or less was a kind of testing ground, both for BJP and AGP. Well, AGP has certain structural limitations. You look, the demography of the state has changed over the last 15, 20 years. So that's how BJP 
Predominantly, it was a caste Hindu party. Later on, it has expanded its base. But if you look at the demography of this state, BJP, I mean, AGP cannot, you know, go beyond maybe perhaps the 70, 80 seats because of the demographic situation. So now, if AGP really wants to create a deep dent over the elect electoral map of the state, they have to expand the horizon. How to do that? That requires a lot of, you know, uh, chemistry. Uh, uh, that, is number one. One. But see, that is that is that is for the AGP to decide and chart out their code of action. My question is, who benefits and who loses out of this whole iffy, wishy washy yeah, kind of a situation? I'm coming. I'm coming to that. Was the perspective that I have to want to speak. But at the same time, what you know, what we hear both from BJP leadership and uh, AGP. But I do not believe that there will be a kind of snapping of ties between the AGP and BJP immediately. Because if you look at BJP, they, they talked about regionalization of BJP. They talked about, in fact, we had this discussion before. Yeah. They talked about rainbow coalition. When they talk about rainbow coalition, you know, predominantly <laughs> it is under the BJP, AGP and other sub-national groups were brought under the orbit of this mm -hmm. national or round, you know, what, what, what do you call it? Uh, rainbow coalition. Yes. So the having coalition, said so, even BJP, coalition. if they believe that they have got a convincing victory and they do not need the help of AGP, but I'm afraid that would give a very bad psychological impression right. to the electoral electorates of Assam. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, you have to look at the national perspective. BJP is not in very good shape today. So uh, you, are saying facing, you are arguing that BJP is not really in a position yeah, to this severe a, ties with the AGP just now. These are little bit of fistic up here and there because yeah. which is a continuation what had happened in the election. Yes. But later on, when there will be kind of combination, I will, and they will discuss it seriously. I will come to Amin I believe Islam, this, Islam, this, this alliance yes. will keep on going. Absolutely. Quickly go to Dr. Samajal Bhattasarji. What is, you see, we have been discussing, your, uh, what is in your view is the broad message of the Panchayat poll results? You know, BJP number one spot. Congress at number two, AGP that was at the forefront of the agitation against the Citizenship Amendment Bill uh, came a poor third because everybody thought that AGP is with by it requires it requires guts to launch an agitation of that scale by remaining within the alliance and going to meet all the opposition leaders and garnering support for uh, for the movement against the Citizenship Amendment Bill. Now, everyone thought that you know AGP is going to reap the benefit, but that did not happen. What is in your view is the broad message of this? Panchayat results. Dr. Bhattacharji. See, regarding that political chemistry, I am not the right man to uh, assess the whole thing. The, uh, the political leaders and journalists like you, uh, you can interpret in the right perspective. Uh, we are concerned about the issues and we are concerned about the protection of the indigenous people of Assam and the overall development of our state. So we, we, can, we, can, we can express our mind regarding that issues. Election is chemistry and all these things, this can be assessed by the political leaders, the, 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 uh, the senior citizen, the general senior journalists like you. But we are very, uh, we, uh, I would like to submit before you that this, uh, this election, uh, this one side election is based on local issues and uh, based on local development issue. And uh, citizenship amendment bill and Assam Accord was never an issue of this one side election. Right. Uh, Dr. Dr. Samadil Bhatshazi, stay on. Uh, Aminul Islam, you see, uh, Chief Minister Torun Gogo has said that, you know, they, are, they can go for an alliance with the AGP. Now, Dujan Sarma said that that is possible only if the AGP quits the BJP. It's all hypothetical issues. Dilip Bora, I know his stand is saying that nobody is saying that. Uh, I am putting words in the mouth. But these are assessments. Now, uh, can there be an alliance in the state and there, can there be an alliance against the BJP in the state? Is it possible? What is the, where does the AIUDF stand? What, first of all, once again, can you clarify your stand on the Citizenship Amendment Bill? We have already expressed our view so many times that we are dead against the Citizenship Amendment Bill. And our view, clear view, is that we want to solve the foreigners issue on the basis of Assam Accord and not a single person who came after the 25th March of 1971. He may be a Hindu or Muslim, uh, irrespective of religion, any, not a single Bangladeshi okay. or foreigner now, should be allowed understood. to stay in the state. Understood. Assam. Now my yeah, second better. question, for mm. clarity's sake, yeah. your stand, mm. stand of the AGP, mm. stand is the more or less the same. Uh, now the question is, is it possible for, hypothetically speaking, is it possible, I have to say hypothetically speaking, because I have to protect myself from Mr. Dilip Bora. Uh, <laughs> hypothetically speaking, is, is such an alliance possible? 
uh, I, uh, actually nothing is impossible in politics. Uh, it may be today, right now, AZP is with alliance uh, with BJP, and it is you can't predict that this AZP will never uh, they form an alliance with Congress if situation allows and demand. Uh, raises from both sides. So it may be possible, but, in, uh, but our you know, uh, we think that pro we problem. they cannot we think possibly go with Congress yeah. because but, you know Isu, yeah, but, the but, very part of yeah, AGP right now, till now, till now they are to till now they are opposing that uh, we'll, we are not going to mix but, a, a, any but, time with Congress. Yeah, but, but the first priority should be given to the interest of the people of Assam. But Maini Mohanto, yeah. but Maini Mohanto, anything can happen in politics, isn't it? I'll come to you, Noni Gopal. No, no. Uh, AZ, AZP Congress thing is, uh, you know, started uh, started uh, speaking uh, by uh, BJP leaders, star campaigners after listening to the Noren Sunwal thing. But mm. I listened to that by Noren Sunwal uh, didn't speak like that. He mentioned about the Citizenship Amendment Bill. He said that those who are coming from uh, outside yes. India, they are not our brothers. Instead of that, Congress may be our brothers. It's He referred about that Citizenship Amendment Bill. He is a very, you know, uh, very uh, simple type of person. That's why he said like that. This is not a because. But B BJP star campaigners, BJP Sanukos, they captured the issue and they captured the Noren Sunwal thing and they started speaking that yes, AZP Congress do is this, this kind of thing. That's fine. But, that's but, fine. I, I, but what, what are you saying? Like what are you trying to say? For BJP yeah. What are you? Campaign. What is I, your I want final to put an example in my constituency, Green constituency. There are five or six numbers of GPs won by Congress with the help of AZPs. If the AZP didn't didn't uh, put their candidates and Congress would not uh, own the uh, five or six numbers of GPs and the AZP workers are also happy that Congress won in the, uh, those GPs. So, so there may so, be a secret understanding. So, <laughs> we are maybe a uh, actually those GPs uh, were uh, no, no, in, in, the, in, the, in the possession of official. in the possession of LDF the party previously, but yes. but AZP workers are also happy that. They have so, uh, captured the ZP, so uh, and they have defeated. So, and the, uh, the, uh, so uh, Sopnel Barua, yes. your party leaders are saying, at the, uh, top party leaders have been saying that there is a secret understanding between the Congress and mm -hmm. the uh, Congress and the AGP. So they may not be off the mark because uh, there was some level of coordination which uh, we have seen in the uh, look absolutely grassroots and level also party by leaders. <laughs> With the <laughs> empirical evidence of what happened in Ding. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that is Aminul's point of view. We have to, <laughs> yeah. we have to scrutinize that. But no, 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 I like, but why, why, why I, do I you like dismiss it? I like I mean, to say one thing. Yeah. No, I'm not it dismissing Congress, him. I'm not dismissing him. Co yes. Con Congress policy. You cannot. We cannot decide the with whom we will have alliance to, uh, today or tomorrow. Our, we have an executive committee in state level and we will place the matter in the... Oh, executive. don't talk <laughs> diplomatically. No, don't no, no, talk no, no, diplomatically. No. We all know that. No, we all no, know no. you no, have no, your no, high listen command. To me. Listen Nothing to me. more. The AGP was invited because they are at the yeah. central, no, 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 central no, 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 national to, level. Le, le, five days back. Had, no, no, no. Yes, so no, let, no, let me finish my sentence. Yes, please add. Let me finish my sentence. Please add. Can there be smoke without any fire? No, no. Let me let me let me finish whatever is said about Dorothy. No, let me finish my point. Has any party really come out and uh, said no, or let, let him me or make my point? I, I, I think, and we have our high command. We are a high command based uh, party. I think, I think uh, Mr. Dilibora uh, has to answer that question. Uh, nobody one? has disowned Noren Sanwal. That's what he's saying. Which one? That is no, what there was a local level understanding. Was, no, no, there was no understanding from the party side. Noren Sunwal may have said in some political meeting something. No, no, I am saying is, about is, his constituency. No, he asked me about Noren Sunwal. Yeah. Noren Sunwal may have said something in some different context and you people are very yes. good experts of taking uh, things out of context and giving it a different type of color. Mm. So I do not believe that at this moment anybody in the party hierarchy, they are thinking of an alliance with uh, Congress or any party for that. No, yeah, but yeah, but no. all said and done, you see, in poli I agree with Mr. Aminul Islam that in politics anything can happen at any time. There, this is a fluid kind of thing, situation. and it keeps on moving up and down, up and down, churning between Look into various the situation. parties. There are issues are there. Now, one thing is agreed by everybody that there is hardly any ideological difference between political parties. Even economic differences have come down much more than it was earlier when communism was there. Now we will go to the th theories. In case those uh, those times were different than this time. 
So that is what was it? This kind of local understanding can happen with anybody. Even no, with BJP, but, yeah. this type of understanding was there maybe in some but, but do you, uh, yes. situations. Do, do, you but agree, do you agree that uh, so far as the question of citizenship amendment bill or foreigners issue concern, maximum views of AGP and AODF uh, are that, that is agreed. But then, we have no well, That is agreed. But Actually, our agreed. view and uh, yeah, our AGP view, view so far as citizenship uh, amendment uh, bill yeah. uh, and, is and Accord, similar and with your views, there yeah. is no question about it. Yeah, but no oh, and, and, and we are also secular. already a narrowing yeah. down yeah. of yeah. differences. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 There is a narrowing down of differences between the AGP well, no and the common minimum program. No agreeing on so, a particular bill. Yes, no, yes, again, you are putting words. No, no, I am not putting words. I am not interpreting. This bill, they have also opposed. I am not putting words at all. Viewers, uh, viewers will know that I am not point, putting words at all. Yes, yes, me, yeah. You may ask me. Yeah, I I'm think, asking you. I think the your comment. The consensus that the reading that you are getting now, do you think that the voter has not got this reading? Otherwise, would that result have come through? I mean, that is. Noni Gopal <laughs> Monto, that's a very loaded comment by Sopnail Barua, typical of him. Uh, do you think this is one of the reasons that had worked? The BJP leaders' uh, open statements that there is a secret understanding between the AGP and the BJP, uh, uh, sorry, AGP and the Congress, do you think that has cost that the AGP game, dearly? Game no, do you think that is one of the BJP reasons why the AGP no, no, lost? No, 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 let me speak. Now, they want see, to color Congress. No, the uh, problem BJ, is that AGP, that is a kind of high pitch election. You know, in an election, people talk a lot of things. You know, even Himanta Bisa Sarma has picked up an issue which I believe should no, have been seen No, not issue. just, a lot, yeah. lot of other political uh, leaders have said they the have same also thing. It's not that he wants to be so much. Uh, even even, even the election. chief minister has said. Yeah, even so many people have talked about even he, one uh, you know allies of AGP said that Himanta Sharma, Bishwa Sharma will go to jail. These are rhetorics of election. You know they are not to be taken seriously. Although they should not have done so. But my point is that why you know AGP was perhaps made a mistake because you know the, we should not be under the impression that what we discuss in the TV studio, what we talk about in the media will get reflected in the electoral arena. So I think AGP should have taken this issue more seriously. It's not that all of a sudden Panchayat election was declared. There should have been a preparation. There should have been, you know, uh, a movement which should be in sync with their ideological issues. That was not but, to be but, seen. But yeah. that is why. But look at BJP. BJP, I'm not justifying. The point is that organizationally, in terms of governance, in, in corruption issue, at the grassroots level, corruption is a major issue. APSC, whether we agree or not, yes, there is no 100% eradication of corruption. But look at Guwahati University today. From my department, 12 students got into the APSC, which was right. unthinkable. Absolutely. In the rural areas, there is celebration for the first time that our boy from the rural areas got into the ACS, which was unthinkable. So there are certain changes of perception taking place at the grassroots level. I know there is so, not 100% perfection, I, I, but that has yeah. not been able to take in. Because, you know, no, as no, many I, of people I, I have agreed, that at the grassroots level, people it look into that. the many local people issues. From I, I would just keep on Onikopal's mood because they the whole corruption, anti-corruption crusade that has been launched by the government of the party has created such an atmosphere that, yes, we assume, we know that corruption is not going to be eradicated in a day. But at least the atmosphere... But that was the point they have been able to forceful argue that's what you're saying yes um, and that can is I, the can I say one thing yes please can I say one yes, yes. you see in panchayat elections one more factor has uh, played its role which is a very major factor and we have ignored that is that for almost a better part of three years the panchayats were deprived of funds and once the elections were held people in the village level they thought that perhaps if we vote for bjp which is actually major we'll get ruling, the fund. ruling party that will get fund and develop, essential development work of the state will be right. uh, the villages will be carried forward. But besides that, of course, besides that, of course, the coalition government has done certain good things. And as a major political party, including building of roads, corruption, of course, one of the issues. All these things they benefited the highest because they are the major ruling party, and it is called so, a BJP government, right. BJP led government. Nobody talks about AGP as a government partner. They always say BJP led government, BJP government, chief minister is BJP. I mean, uh, the that, finance minister is the three most important are, ministers. Uh, the the most important are, ministers are, are from AGP. No, and maybe, but the fund actually is controlled by uh, the BJP. Fund is controlled by BJP. Administration is controlled by BJP. It is difficult to get the fund. I think my question is my observation. My observation is My observation is very simple. I'm coming to you, Amanda. My observation if the three AGP ministers can launch a 
battle against the citizenship amendment bill by staying within the government, they can also launch a big battle uh, to demand funds Friends. from the state yeah, that government. Was going isn't on. It? That was no. going on. It yeah, was not there. Nobody is issue. In cabinet meetings, these are the issues. It doesn't ha happen. <coughs> and as are there, and you have our, to get our it. Our struggle was against central government bill, not against state government's performance. Please do not make both the issues together. And absolutely agreed. Agreed. Dilipora agreed. Your point taken. Amirul Islam. Yes. And another factor was there in last Ponsayat election. BGP also helped their candidates in Panchayats with a lot of funds to contest. And th there were so many candidates of other parties who have no, who had no sufficient fund to contest the election, to run the election better. It, it was an advantage for the candidates of BGP that they have got fund from the party, from their party. And they could run their election process, entire process. The Congress also we, we, gave. Uh, no, no, Congress also gave. Congress was well. not given. Congress also gave. And it was an advantage. The idea of the AGP has not yes. given so much yes. yes. so yes. yes. to Congress. I think we saw helicopters from the AIDF also. We have talked about money. We do not have much power. Yes, Abdul Baro, make your point. I mean, my point is that this money factor, if you say that we have seen money being spent for elections as is required, there are certain norms. Norms have been kept, and if you talk about funds, let us see helicopters have gone in from all sides, no, including no, no, AIB. We have no helicopters. So I don't think that the fund factor would have restricted. If of all parties, the AIUDF, if you talk that AGP has no, no. helicopter B, to, to run the, helicopter by the party chief, it, it's not no, no, the I'm fund not is not go that. to the directly to the hand of the candidate. I but mean, the, the candidate should maintain the address by his own yes. 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 But uh, so it is actually. not... So I think that is yes. 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 Mr. West yes. Bishop, you have not, we have not discussed one side. Mm -hmm. This AGP, BJP ministers, they threaten voters in many places. Mm -hmm. They say, if you don't vote, mm -hmm. we will not release your fund. And if I say the BD, BDO, Sondra Mohan Patwar said, if yeah, I yeah. say the BDO, he has no guts to give you funds. How many cases have you filed? Uh, on there are a lot. You see, How they, many they, cases? They are they in Jalukbari constituency. One candidate in Mandakata, they, they declared they, that it has, they have won. And after that, they have given the minister, gave the recounting. In no, 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 let me, let me finish. Let the the Manrega money people. comes to the let, let me finish. Let me, let me finish. Delhi. Let me finish. So you there is a question. Talk. You will talk. Talk. Your, your talk. talk. Let, let, me, let me finish. Let me finish. Now, when a minister and when a government will treat and voters, when they will panic, create panic amongst the voters, necessarily voters will be panic and they will vote for the ruling party. That has happened in many places. And they have even they have given recounting after declaring candidates in Mongolroy. They have tried one candidate to defeat. Even they have cancelled 1,300 votes. 1,300 votes can, they have cancelled. After that also Congress won. So now these yeah, things are, these, these things are we, we, we have not ignored. These things we have ignored. We must not ignore. They earlier, that is why in the initial stage I said the yeah. people, they look to the government. And in Panchayat election, we have observed in all the time that they mostly people try to vote for the ruling right. party. Let me, let, 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 let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, just let me, 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 but I have to ask you this, what is your message to the AGP today? No, no, we are, we are appealing to all political parties and the political leaders who love the sum uh, to oppose this uh, uh, citizenship yeah, amendment bill and related notification and order to protect the interests of Assam and to protect the interests of the indigenous people of Assam. It's very clear. We like to appeal all political parties. And if the BJP uh, supported the Meghalaya government can uh, take a cabinet decision in Meghalaya government to oppose mm -hmm. this bill, why not in Assam? In, in Assam also all BJP and other uh, political parties, all political parties who are committed to protect the interests of we the We have already done it. They should oppose this bill. See, okay. we went to now, Bihar also to meet now, the Honorable uh, Chief Minister of Bihar, Mr. Nitish right. Kumarji. Now, it, now, was, it was the BJP uh, JDU government. Yeah, but now, the JDU has uh, opposed this bill. So the, the line is very clear. 
So we like to appeal all political leaders and all political parties to oppose this citizenship amendment bill which protects the Fine. interests of the illegal Bangladeshis and we like to appeal them okay. and to, to, to involve themselves to regarding the implementation of some accord because by implementation of the Assam accord this black foreign national problem can be solved. On the other hand, we like to appeal to all political leaders and the political parties to involve themselves to have a illegal foreigners name free correct NRC as per the directive of the Supreme Court of India. Okay. Now, now, Dr. Samajal Bhatsharji, you know, uh, after this victory from the grassroots level, what, according to you, should the BJP do? Uh, should, I mean, you know, I'm keeping the question open-ended. What should the BJP do? Your view. BJP, uh, they should keep their commitment because during the election uh, in the Lok Sabha last year, uh, the people had voted for a change in Delhi. And out of 14 seats, 7 seats were, were for the BJP. But there was a change in Delhi. Narendra Modiji became the Prime Minister of the country, but there was no change of attitude and steps towards the people of Assam on the part of the central government. Regarding the state assembly, 85% uh, people voted uh, for this government. And, uh, they, they had said during that time they had given assurance and commitment to the people of Assam they will protect the interests of the indigenous people of Assam. They will implement Assam Accord. Now they should keep the commitment. Right. Now this question, I would like to ask this question to both Nanigopal Mohanta and Maini Mohanta and then of course I will come for the political reactions. Now you have seen uh, the, the BJP president, uh, state president, Mr. Ranjit Das has categorically stated that it has been decided in yesterday's meeting in New Delhi with the national president and others that, you know, the, the BJP henceforth in the local elections will not go for any alliance. <coughs> he has specifically said that there are, two, there are two local elections coming now. One is the missing autonomous council election, the other is the Dimasa, Dimasa autonomous council elections. Mm -hmm. He said BJP has made it very clear. Other people are not and clear uh, or not, I don't know. Uh, Dimasa, they have said that no alliance whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, so if the alliance is there in the state between the AGP and the BJP, there is a B, there is, AGP is also quite... Uh, prominent in Dimahasa, <coughs> by the way, uh, with Deposit Thousen is an AGP leader. They are the former chief executive member. My question to you first with Nonigopal Mohanta, then I'll come to Maini. Uh, is this, you know, what does this mean? You know, that, that it, it, the, I get a sense that, you know, BJP is now getting a feel that they can do without the AGP or for that matter, any other uh, alliance partners in the state. I believe if you look at it, it's a more strategic option. You know, the, uh, for, for example, the president of BJP has said that we will not be in uh, any alliance, be, the, be it in NC Hills or in... Uh, missing Autonomous missing, Council. Or even in Guwahati Municipality Corporation. Right. Election is also knocking at the door. It is because BJP wants to push AGP to the corner and to make them realize that look at your electoral base. This is your capacity. So now, we, from that point of view, after knocking down AGP with full blow, they will perhaps negotiate. It's just a hunch. I'm not, so, I'm not saying so, any from point of view. So, Maybe otherwise, otherwise... If you win so, those uh, grassroots election, they will not be in alliance. So, so Maini Mohanto, mm. this panchayat <coughs> elections have proved once again for the BJP that it's not the AGP but the Congress they have to concentrate on. They they can deal with the AGP that has been, uh, I mean, that is what. Do you think that is the uh, assessment uh, in the BJP camp? Because yeah. they are they yeah. once again demonstrated that we do not want the AGP yeah, or yeah. for that matter any other alliance. Yeah, it's, it's uh, BJP's assessment, you know. Because they, they, came, they came to the power uh, on AGP soldier when they were kids, like creeping kids. They couldn't walk or run at that time. Now they, they can run, they can walk. So they jumped from AGP soldier and they started uh, walking. It's their strategy. So, uh, and so about the rainbow alliance, they spoke about the rainbow alliance. But one by one, they wiped away one one color. First, they wiped away the Ganasakti's color, they gave their symbol. Then they wiped away the Rabha's color, they gave their symbol. Then they wiped away Tiwa's colors and gave their symbol. They started wiping all colors and they okay. made it safe. From. You have made your point. Uh, Sobhanil Barua. Do you, what do you have to say to what Maini Mohanta well, said? That you rode on the shoulders of, uh, 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 you piggybacked on AGP, and now that you are on your own, you have, you have found your ground, you don't want, want any of no, these people. I think uh, it is conjecture on her part and trying to really di dissect uh, where there is nothing to dissect. Mm -hmm. Basically, it is, I would interpret it in the other way. It is that the other people have realized that it is better to get into the BJP bandwagon and then go ahead, then stay on our own, be in isolation. 
I think that must be the I want thinking to of the... Yes, yes. Yeah. of course, yeah. Dilip Bora has to respond. No, 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 no. I, let, I let, let Mr. Dilip Bora respond, You see, Please. the alliance in 2016, that was actually formed with a single point agenda to dislodge the 15-year-old Congress government. The alliance was beneficial for both the BJP and the AGP, and also the other parties who came into its fold. That is the first, that is the only... Uh, only agenda we had at that time. Later on, when the government was formed, then other issues came up. And that is why the uh, differences also started creeping in between the alliance partners, basically us and the BJP. That is why in Karbi Anglong, Jila Purishad election, autonomous uh, district elections, we also fought a single, as a single party. That is long back, one year back. You have forgotten. In Dima Hasa also, we are going to fight alone. All local elections will fight alone. But... Because everybody wants their electoral base to be strengthened, not weakened. If we, this is the result, if we find, then we'll see how we can strengthen our, this thing. We are not going, if we want to exist as a separate political party, then we cannot piggyback on anybody. Neither BJP can afford to do that, yeah. nor Congress can afford to do that. So if we have to decide for, on our own, what will be our next step? Irrespective yes, uh, uh, of whether the opposition... One thing, one thing is, is yeah, alliances will be for government, yeah, not can for I, political yeah, can, I, can I ask you one yeah, thing? Yeah, because please. looking at the electoral... Because I had the opportunity to look at the electoral base of various political mm -hmm. parties. Mm -hmm. Now, rather than adopting a kind of umbrella approach to catch all constituencies, you know, looking at your major strategic point, why can't we, I mean, AGP, look at some of the sectoral approach by looking at, say, 70, you know, odd constituencies where you can really hammer on Focus. Well. Yeah, yeah, focus. That, Rather that than is actually, Mr. Mohanta, that is actually one of our strategic goals. How to <coughs> maximize our electoral base in those possible constituencies. You see... Okay. Everywhere we cannot uh, go and win. Yeah, we are a single, we are a regional so political he's party. Having but, but the limited but, 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 base. Uh, that is why initially I said the core yeah. votes of AGP has been divided into three groups. That is yeah. why initially I said. Absolutely. Now we have to expand our electoral base Absolutely. to certain other I will, groups. I will go and for a break. Yes, yes, I will go for a break. But very yeah. quickly, Aminul Islam, but, I'll go for a break. I'll come back to you, Sabinul Borwa. Aminul Islam, you are you wanted but, to make a point from a long time. Yes. But we saw that in last panchayat election, BJP attacked. AGP more than that of Congress because and similarly the Congress attacked AODF they concentrated their attack for last three years only to demolish AODF and BJP is trying to demolish AGP. It is the characteristics of big parties, major parties that they <coughs> wanted to uh, they wanted they want to yeah, demolish yeah. the uh, small parties to demolish yeah, so that, that all is, the vote bank they are focused on <coughs> made it absurd by the big because parties. Because that is it how is the they policy. can garner their yeah. votes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they are, they are, they are. So, so they are one, 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 one more One more. That is a very good argument at least. Yes, I have to go for a break very quickly. Very close. As you can see, we are getting in more and more supporters, including in the election, we have found minority supporters coming in and joining the Why? Because I have told you, money, money is a prime mover. Money is a prime mover. Fund is equal. And you have also provided a okay. lot of money. Okay, we'll go for a short break. Too. We'll yeah. go for a short break now. Coming back and engaging in this very, very interesting discussion. Uh, welcome back. Before going to the break, Maini Mohanto, you wanted to make a point. You were saying, trying to say, talk about the when Kapil Barwa said that minority uh, support he was getting. What is your response, response to that? You were trying to say, say comment on that. Uh, getting minority support in this Ponsayat election is not a big thing. But you don't think that you will get minority support in Assembly and Lok Sabha election. Because right. in Ponsayat right. elections, the candidates are among them. 
their family members, their yes. neighbors, their yeah, neighborhood, yeah. their village people. That's why we, you, you got the support. But you don't expect that you will get support from minority in assembly and I think, so I think we'll take your advice very seriously and see that they do it's not, not reach us. We will have to. Have you to openly say you yeah. want Hindu Rashtra. Yeah. You openly say the minorities will support you. Yeah. You openly say we are Hindu. Rashtra. Hindu. Okay, you say that. You say that. Okay, Manipal Mohanto. Manipal Mohanto is very right. Even the difference is on every point. The BJP yeah. and the AGP are differing. Now, the BJP is serious about deciding, taking a final decision on the issue of alliance. Uh, what is the AGP? Do you think AGP also should introspect and decide on whether to continue or not? Because the BJP seems to be. Because we cannot take political leaders seriously until they actually execute what they say. Now they are saying that they are going to depute uh, uh, Senior General Secretary, National General Secretary Ram Madhav to talk to each and every MLA, talk to the party leadership and then arrive at a decision. Do you think the AGP also should introspect on that and decide once and for all instead of uh, keeping the people of Assam in a situation of flux? You know, as we this kind of perpetual hesitation serves them nothing actually. Even for AGP, if they determine that they are going to snap the tie, they should do it. You know why? Otherwise, if you keep on negotiating, if you keep on waiting, let there be the bill be passed, then we shall no. decide. Now, that in that case, it will harm the AGP but more. I have, a, I have another way. question for you, yeah. Nanigupal Mohanto. Uh, as the bigger partner, as the bigger partner who has the numbers, even without the AGP, they can comfortably run the government. Now, as the bigger partner, Nanigupal Mohanto, don't you think that the BJP should be, have been more decisive? If they really want to uh, uh, see the exit of the AGP from the alliance, they should have taken the call, isn't it? They are equally responsible for allowing this situation of flux. Well, once we enter politics, is about possibilities and perception. In the whole, whole politics of India is in fluid now. Even BJP is not certain that they are going to form government tomorrow. So every seat so, will so, count. So they so are therefore, not taking a decisive step. Yeah, now, now there is confusion and they, will, they are not decisive. And they will try to hammer AGP more so that they can negotiate from the background. And that's a strategy. But I believe so. this kind <coughs> of snapping of ties or uh, discarding the whole relationship will not happen okay. immediately. Now, now Maini Mota and Amin Ustam, I'm coming to you and Mr. Dilip Bora and uh, Mr. Dujan Sarma as well. Uh, the national results in the three states, don't you think uh, that that has put the BJP in a slightly defensive because they cannot throw out the AGP uh, as much as they want, perhaps even if they want to at this position, at this stage? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, about citizenship bill. Uh, no, now, uh, about the national results. I was yeah, asking Yeah, I know. I, I just <coughs> want to say that thing but about the national results. You see, after UP election, the demonetization was that time the issue. And at UP election, the it, it didn't matter. And, and they, they used to say that, see, demonetization didn't matter in UP election. But now this matters because... Satisgarh, Rajasthan, and Madhya Pradesh election, the issues were there because it takes time. No? That's why I want to say the citizenship amendment bill will affect, but it will take time. No, it is very much there. Citizenship amendment bill will be there. No, in, people. in actually those states you know, where election took place, remember, MP was in government for 15 years. Look at Torun Gugoy. After 15 years, the, what was the performance? The number of this issue is here. Of course, demonetization, not only demonetization, right. farmers, district this is another issue. But having said so, remember in Madhya Pradesh, the difference is only 2.8 percent vote share. True. So, as is in Satisgarh, where the vote is because Sibrad Singh Sohan. Yeah, because Sibrad Singh Sohan, he is very, one of the best chief ministers we in ever India, had. India had. Yeah. And, and second thing, he was actually the, all those things. He tried right to manage it very prevented, very like very giving very bonus very to the agriculture. Yeah. True, true. This is prevented okay. by central uh, government. Us, and that is why he lost. Otherwise, he was not going to yeah. lose. Yes. Yes. Now, now this, this question goes to Dujan Sharma and uh, Mr. Aminul Islam. The question is, you see, as we all know, Mr. Dilibora is here. Uh, the main aim of the BJP and the AGP in 2016 was to dislodge the Congress party. And Mr. Dilipur is saying that is one of the main reasons why the alliance uh, was forced. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Dujan Sharma, yes. don't, is, is your primary objective not to dislodge the BJP from power? My question is, what are the possibilities of an alliance between the Congress and the AIODF, which never happens because some of your leaders <coughs> want the alliance no, no, and I, some of your leaders don't. <coughs> and no, so no, you cannot, I, although I, I'll, I'll, you I'll very not. much like to work together, you cannot because some of your leaders are opposed to this I, idea. I don't like to speak about the alliance. It, it will be decided by the, my party. But I can say one thing from my experience, from my uh, association with the political activities, that the Narendra Gorm, uh, Modi government, 
the Narendra Modi's popularity has reduced like anything. No, don't and talk general issues. No, no, no. That, uh, that, is, is, why, be specific that is why to the this busy demonetization, GST and all other issues. No, no. All this uh, affected. No, no. Come to the point. Answer my question. Uh, I mean, if, are you interested in in taking on the BJP or not? If you are interested no, in no, taking on the BJP, what are the possibilities uh, with you? Do you have an option? We are hundred percent uh, interested to disclose. BJP, what are your options as B, alliance BJP, partners? BJP in center. Yeah. And what are your options? What are your options as alliance partners? Our option, because as Nani Gopal said, as Nani Gopal said, every seat our, comes. Our, our option, our policy. I have already said that we. It will be decided may, by the high command. We have alliance with Sikula That is your party, policy, and that will be decided by our party high command. We may have alliance with any political party who That's are who are who are secular. And they must maintain distance from BJP. That is our policy. So, w w what is your status with equations with AIUDF? Does it fit your bill? No, AIUDF, we don't have any alliance till now. No, 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 I know that. Uh, what Does it fit your criteria, AIUDF? I just want to understand from you. No, no, we have decided not to have alliance with AIUDF. So, AIUDF is out. Your only option in Assam is AZP. But, but in a few days back, when there's a meeting of you know central leaders, Rahul Gandhi invited, and Badruddin Sahab also that attended the meeting. That is a UPA meeting. That, in Assam. Okay, UPA, UPA technical it is. Aminul Islam, same question. Aminul Islam, same question. Aminul Islam, Yes. At the national level, that the idea is in Assam. Yes, in Assam. Yes. Yes. has been decided. Let, let me so, clear yes. in this respect. Yeah. Let, let, let <coughs> Amir Islam speak. The meeting was called by uh, Sunia Gandhiji and not only Badruddin Azmal, all other leaders of so many like minded parties. Parties present in India. Yes. Actually, the question is not to form alliance with Congress only. There is uh, um, 22 or 24 parties, they are going to make a greater alliance mm. to rule out the uh, Narendra Modi government yes. and secular government should be formed in the central. But that so is the it, it is not you only know, alliance yeah. with AUDF I mean, Congress yeah. alliance. That is the it is a greater Congress. alliance. Okay, that they that have to make many like-minded parties. And in that case, they make up. But yeah. in the state level, <laughs> they are in contestation everywhere. Look yeah. at in West Bengal, mm. they will be in contest with each other. Look at Orissa, they will be in contestation with each other. Mm. Even SP, BSP, there is no guarantee that they will give away seats to mm. uh, Congress. This is the scenario in southern states. But on the, this, the contradiction is that at the central level, Congress AID is together. I just want to know your I opinion. like to request Mr. Noni Gopal Mohanta to wait for some time. Is it not and, reality? And, no, no. Yeah, he will see the reality, exact reality. What will but happen I'm talking the, about the current uh, reality. What, within a month, what, <laughs> he will know what will happen in the national but, level. But in the state but of that is a futuristic. But, wait for some time. That is but, futuristic. Yeah, I'm but, talking about the present. No, but, what but is the Mr. present scenario? Trying, but, we are trying, but, we are, but uh, look, look we are, at the dilemma but, of that alliance said, in Telangana. I mean, but, Telangana, but, just one second. In Telangana, what happened to Telangana? What had happened to, happen to Telangana? What had happened to Chhattisgarh? What has happened to Chhattisgarh? Jo Zugi no, no, losing election is different thing. And election is different. Election elections are different. Different. You, you know, how can you differ? That, is, that is the contestation, no, 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 that is the contradiction. But, but in the state no, of My no, point no. is that that is the contradiction. No, no, that is the contradiction. No, no, that is the contradiction. No, no, that is the contradiction. That is the contradiction. But in the state of Assam, Aminul Islam has said rightly that we are looking for a bigger alliance that is in the national level. So, but how can you have a national alliance without the alliance in the state? That is what I am saying. Why are you not decided by the state? No, you are totally confused. We are not with AAFD. So the, what will the, happen tomorrow? He doesn't know yes. as usual. Yes. Uh, that is the answer. Anything but, can but, happen. But, 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 I'd like to make yes. a point but, here. Barua. As things are developing now, I think the so far as the minorities and the BJP are concerned, uh, our gut feeling and ground feeling is that, that the minority people are willing to come with the BJP rather than stay with the leadership of the Congress, Congress yes. or the AIUDF because then they feel that the community would be much more benefited in terms of economic uh, benefits per quick, 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 quick response, quick response, quick response, quick response, Aminul Islam, quick but, response. But, uh, the first, Anyone first, quick, of, quick, first quick, of all, the minority, no, one, one, let one person speak at a time. No, 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 Aminul, the Aminul, minority Aminul, people, 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 you are going to form a Hindu people, no, no, let him speak and then you speak. Before all down development, the minority people of Assam, they are uh, feeling scarcity of their rights and citizenship. They are till now afraid of their right 
to be prevailed uh, as a citizen <coughs> of India. And the BJP is a party where Mr. Siladito Dev and some sometimes Ranjit Dotto and sometimes uh, Rajan Gohai they speak that 97, 98 percent Muslims are Bangladeshi, they have to go from out of Assam. Whenever the minority people are not feeling secure in the state of Assam to prevail the rights as a citizen of India, okay. then when will they, how will they Okay. Think of their development. Uh, okay. They no, okay. Yes. Uh, uh, part has been settled by the NRC. Yeah. Yeah. No. Can, See, can part has been settled by the NRC. Uh, now the Congress question is economic no, no, development. No. no. Yeah. 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 The fear that you no, are trying to evolve. No, I think AIDF, yeah. they can make alliance in central and they cannot make alliance in uh, state any, with any other party. Because in Assam, Badruddin, the name is like, you know, Torun Gogoi said who is Badruddin and nicely spent one term. And now BJP leaders, they use the name Badruddin as like Kankhua, no? It is Kankhua, Ibo, Kuja, Kuja, like Badruddin will become CM, so do all these things. Yes, right. It, it, is a, like it a, became a trump card. Yeah. And AUDF yeah. parties, uh, you see, sometimes Congress tell that uh, AUDF is BJP, they have understanding with BJP. And BJP used to say that AUDF has understanding with okay. Congress. Okay. So it, 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 it has become, become a trump card. <laughs> and yes, yes, so what is Dilipa <laughs> saying? Yes, no, what is Dilipa? his words, yes. it seems like Badaruddin has become liability for AIT. No, no, no. no. As it I is said. Actually, for the last 50 years, years, level, for last 50 years minority over. people that are that these being used as raw materials of politics in Assam. Minority peoples are being used as raw materials in the politics of Assam for the last by 50 whom? years. For, for 50 by years, whom? by all parties. Sometimes by, used by Congress or sometimes by NDP or sometimes BJP. They are saying that uh, if you vote for me, vote for us, we will uh, give protection to you. Some, some, some people are, the, some latest, people are uh, saying uh, that uh, if, uh, if you yes, vote no, for no, us, no, no, we will... Uh, let, me, let me say something mm -hmm. substantial. But you know, we are talking about panchayat. Mm -hmm. We are not talking about real structural things. Mm -hmm. You know, even in rural areas, even panchayat are minority dominated areas, particularly mm -hmm. in char areas, mm -hmm. but panchayat has really acted as a catalyst for the empowerment of char supporting women. I am telling you, one of my students is doing PhD yes. and she has come out with the argument that more <coughs> reservation at the grassroots level, particularly for the, the Muslim women, they have started articulating their demand, they have st started articulating their priorities, which initially didn't happen. So therefore, this is another issue that Ponsad can okay. also play no, in our no, architectural no, no. role. I will come to, I will come to, I will come to, I will come to Dilip Bora, you know, the, but now, 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 the, now the whole issue. thing, <laughs> the, the, no, the, let me, let me, this is a very, very important thing, the whole, you know, really the whole crisis the in this alliance uh, and the bitter uh, manner in which the panchayat elections was because of the differences between the BJP and the AGP over the alliance we on uh, in the panchayat polls. A lot of name callings uh, was done that no one can deny that and it was at the highest level. Now, after this whole thing and after the results, the BJP, BJP has taken steps and this announced it openly that they are going to assess the situation of, and take a final decision on the alliance. Now, what is the AGP doing? Has the AGP is ready to forgive, forget and forgive approach? Is that your approach? We will or we you will, are also assessing? We are calling the uh, Central Committee meeting very soon and we will discuss this issue. After that, we will take a decision. Please, okay, please the, forgive, uh, the AGP forget. is calling a Central Committee meeting. That is the breaking story apart from other things, of course. Uh, both the AGP and the BJP are discussing the issue at the highest level and that is, of course, uh, interesting to watch how things pan out. Now, uh, I'm, I've got very little time left. I'll start from Dilip Bora once again. What are your concluding remarks? How do you see the road ahead? I have already told that we have to introspect certainly where we are going uh, wrong and how we can right the wrongs and accordingly take steps for our road ahead. Dujan Sharma, you could have done better oh. or are you a satisfied man at the end of the day? We are ha very happy after this result of five states and we are planning to work hard and our planning is to dethrone communal BJP government from the center. That is our planning. You have to revise and because in the five states, Mizoram is also there. Your party has got yes, a drumming. Yes, Your three, chief three minister states, lost three both states, the seats. Three states we have won. Yes. And we are, we, are, we are planning for that and our central leadership is also working very hard on that, on that line. Mani Mahanta. Uh, 
Uh, I think regional forces cannot be wiped out in a state like Assam because you see M once MNF even in Mizoram had uh, become nowhere but now MNF is in power so I hope that regional forces will again uh, you know they unite themselves and secular forces even they should unite themselves and they can they should prevent the fractionization of secular votes. Okay. Uh, well, Wesby, I'd like to make a value-laden comment. That comment being, looking at you know, nobody is bereft of any caste, creed, language, religion. All people utilize primordial politics, including Congress. Now, the time has come that at the grassroots level, at the panchayat level, let us have, react in order to actualize the dream of Mahatma Gandhi, let us go away with the party democracy at the panchayat level. Let us have party-less panchayat election so that it doesn't involve the huge involvement of money, okay. caste, yeah, creed, okay. that language. Is a, that that is should a, be the punch line. Yeah, we I need agree. to give a message. Okay, that is that needs a further debate. Party light panchayat elections Particularly propounded by the panchayat Dr. Level. Nanigupal Mohanto. Yes, uh, Sapnal Barwa, you look quite relaxed or are you putting up a facade of being relaxed at this point no, of no, time? No. After the results you have faced in the no, last No, we years. are actually very worried in the sense that we have a tremendous responsibility ahead of empowering the panchayats, especially to see that all the benefits of panchayats speak for themselves and thereby dictate the politics of the coming elections to come. We want to empower, have to teach all these people the nuances of administration of the panchayat so that no money that comes to the state goes back and all the money that has been allocated to the state is spent in full and without any corruption and so that society as a whole benefits and in this process we are not only talking about the BJP one constituencies but all the panchayats, the 2000 of odd panchayats that are there, the, all the right. operations and that is we feel is a tremendous responsibility and also that we should not lose time because this is a working season. Right. In the politics we have lost a couple of months now yeah. and the parliamentary okay. election is coming. Okay. But the Season yes. must be used for work. Absolutely. Aminul Islam, you have very little options. Dujan Sharma has said that no alliance with the, uh, I mean, AIUDF. No. Do you believe him or do you think Rahul Gandhi no. will change the, no, uh, actually, uh, actually change actually the picture? I, I want to conclude my view with uh, Mr. Nonigopal Mohanto, who rightly said. And we think that if the panchayat election is done without any party symbol or party nomination, then the people will get the right to choice the fit and competent and right person uh, who will who will act for them their development who will do their development. So it, it was it was before passing of Panchayat Assam Panchayat Act 1994. There was no any party sim system party symbol yeah. in Panchayat election. Correct. We demand that it, it should, should be, be party less. Yes. Yes. Now yes. last word to Dr. Samujal Bhattacharji. Dr. Bhattacharji, uh, NRC updation process. Uh, we cannot lose sight of that is the one of the crux of the entire issue uh, along with of course the citizenship amendment uh, proposal now what should be carried I mean do you think it should be carried on in a proper and effective manner obviously isn't it yes uh, the honorable Supreme Court is continuously monitoring the process of updating in the NRC we have full faith on Supreme Court of India now Supreme Court had extended the, uh, the process of claims and objections for 15 days. Now, uh, it's a duty of this state government to implement 4.3 clauses of the Citizenship uh, Act rules and the, uh, the SOP approved by the Supreme Court of India. Under right. these rules, the state, of, state government officials can uh, use their so motor power to enquire every, anybody's name till the final publication of the NRC. So it's the duty of the state government to implement the particular clause so that no illegal foreigner's name can in, uh, include in the NRC. Absolutely. I'd like to tell you this in the last verdict of the Supreme Court, Supreme Court of India had said only and only Indian citizens must be names must be there in the uh, updated NRC. Only and only Indian citizens' names will be there. No doubt about so it's that. the duty of the state government to implement the a uh, directive to the Supreme Court so that no illegal foreigners can in, 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 enroll in the updated NRC. Correct. Uh, no doubt about that, Dr. Samujal Bhattacharji. Well, yes, yet another election got over. We've got the verdict. And it is BJP that has uh, actually uh, come out uh, victorious in these panchayat elections. But yes, that has also brought to light the question of the alliance between the 
two uh, uh, partners, that is the BJP and the AGP, both parties, of course, deciding to discuss the issue at the highest level. But sooner or better, one has to come up with a decision. They cannot keep the people of Assam in a confused state. After all, development is going to suffer. On that note, I thank all my panelists for engaging in this very, very interesting debate. Thank you very much to all of you for being here. Good night and goodbye. Thank you.